what spirit wants you to hear right now. Hey, Dreamy Dreamers, welcome back to the Crazy Dreamer Network. My name is AJ, and let's hop right into today's reading. We have three piles, pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Pile number one, we have the seventh house with the queen of clubs. Pile number two, we have the first house with the purple dice and the seven of clubs. And pile number three, we have the seventh house again with the light blue dice and the two of spades. So I'll give you all some time to meditate on your pile selection. All right, my dreamy dreamers, pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. I love you all so much and I'll see you in your reading. Bye. Hey, pile number ones, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this seventh house dark blue dice alongside um, the queen of clubs with this very beautiful swan, this black swan, right? And you guys also got an additional card, so let's reveal that. And you have the two of hearts with a horseshoe and two hearts within it. Beautiful. So pile number um, pile number ones, what I'm getting that spirit wants you to hear right now is there, you could be dealing with a, hold on, I'm going to read out of the conjure cards. This is a conjure card cards deck by Jake Richardson. And this is what it says about the queen of the queen of clubs. And this is a geese, excuse me. It's not a black swan. It's a geese. Okay. So it says a dark featured woman. She is likely a mother or a nurse. She is helpful and gives good advice when needed. It'd be best to listen to her much like a goose. She's gotten around and she's seen some things. So I'm I, ironically, I'm getting queen of swords with this energy, but, um, you know, the clubs, if you compare them to tarot, they're usually like compared as wands, right? So this could be a queen of wands energy as well. Now with the two of hearts in this deck, it says horseshoe, the card of the lovers. The two of hearts shows an exchange based on the circumstances of the reading whether a kiss, money, handshake, and so forth. It can also represent a deep relationship with another, including family. Okay, so this is very interesting. So so granted, you all picked the seventh house dice. This could have something to do with the relationship with your mother. Maybe if you are the mother, a relationship with, um, with a child or even um, a nephew or a niece or a grandchild, you name it, right? But what I'm getting here is this is a very deep, profound, maybe even a soulmate type of connection here. And what I'm getting with the geese here is that whoever you're dealing with, if that description matched, listen to the person if, you, if they're giving you advice or if you might happen to ask for advice from them. Listen to what they have to say, right? And maybe even if you don't ask for advice or they don't give you advice, listen to what they're saying. Uh, be the observer of this person because this person could teach you a thing or two, okay? And I have a feeling whatever, um, whoever this person is to you, if this is a person, right, you could be the the, the geese, the queen of clubs here. Um, I feel like you could be coming into a divine connection with your higher self if you feel like the geese is you, right? Or you could just be maybe, how can I put this? Um, really connecting to another person who is maybe even like-minded, okay? And could offer you some really sound words of wisdom or advice. And again, if you're not asking for advice or looking for advice, observe this person because they have a lot to teach you, okay? So let's, let's get into your reading straight away, pile number threes. What do you want to, what do you want our pile number, pile number threes? Okay, pile number ones. You could have a message in pile number three as well, pile number ones, excuse me. What 
Spirit, what do you want our pile number ones to hear right now? What do you want our pile number ones to hear right now? What does pile number ones need to hear right now, Spirit? Okay. So you guys seen this card, denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So some of you all could be in a state of denial about something, or you could have you know, denied something um, about maybe a circumstance that you were going through. Um, let's pull some more cards because we have empathy at the bottom of the deck. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. Very interesting. So this could be even maybe this person could be confiding in you. Pile number ones, maybe whoever this person is, if this is an external person in your life, they can be confiding in you about maybe something that They've been in denial about and spirit is asking you to hear them out. Listen to them. And this might bring you to closer. OK, but let's see. What does our pile number ones need to hear right now? We have health. OK, it says I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Interesting. Some of you all may be in denial about your health. And I don't think this is a bad thing. Um, this could be where you're at mentally, or this could be, again, where this person is, this queen of clubs is at mentally, right? Maybe there's a lot that's burdening, burdening them. Maybe there's a lot on their plate, right? Let's see. Tell us more, spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number ones. Maybe you should reach out to someone, okay? Maybe a queen of clubs type of energy who you know because they could be going through something hmm tell us more spirit clear concise accurate messages for our pile number ones what do pile number ones need to hear right now what do you want pile number ones to hear right now okay so we have humor very interesting i choose to focus on the lighter side of life so someone could be using humor as like we have at the bottom of the deck surrender i can release my need to control okay so what i'm getting right now pile number ones in regards to what spirit wants you to hear right now is there can be something going on maybe with someone's mental health and they're using humor as a way to kind of like not deal with maybe the stresses or the turmoils that are happening in their life right now. It's interesting though, because with the two of hearts and with the horseshoe, I feel like it's maybe it's something that's not that bad. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness and humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So then we also have the seven, the seventh house with um, relationships, right? With um, partners. Okay. So it says bindings, whether emotional and, and domestic or lawful and what is right or permissible are now indicated. Very interesting. It says when the seventh house card, but this is just the dice, presents itself in a reading, it usually means one of two things, either issues dealing with partners or significant others or court cases and legal issues, okay? It says the card itself is neutral, much like that of the seventh house, right? Which strives for balance. So the surrounding cards will indicate the basic meaning, whether positive or negative or something in between. Okay, so what I'm getting here in pile number ones is that maybe there maybe you could have been concerned in regards to the health of a relationship because with the two of uh the two of hearts here i feel like you're having good luck in your life right now you're having blessings you're having like kind of like a balance right and this queen of clubs here it just depicts a person right it doesn't even have anything to do with the set of circumstances or anything so Maybe you have been dealing with something in regards to your health. Maybe you are changing the way you look at the world, right? 
as it pertains to your partnerships and your relationships. Maybe you're trying to keep an equilibrium when it comes to dealing with different partnerships in your life and making that balance, right? But this literally talks about the physical vessel that enshrines your soul. So it talks about your body, okay? This could be financial health, right? Maybe you're talking to this queen of clubs or this queen of clubs is talking to you about maybe something that you've been in denial about when it comes to, you know, your financial health, right? Because I always think about pentacles and I think about the material. But let's see. Let's get straight away into your reading because I'm curious. Tell us more, Spirit. What do you want pile number ones to hear right now? What do you want pile number ones to hear what right now? What does pile number ones need to hear right now? Okay. So we have... We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups. Tell us more, Spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number ones. What do pile number ones need to hear right now? What do our pile number ones need to hear right now? Maybe this is something about getting real about your physical um, manifestations, right? Maybe that is financial health. Maybe that's mental health. Maybe that's your physical health, right? We also have the Six of Swords. That's where I'm getting where the humor is coming in. Kind of like, okay, like something's being alleviated. Maybe, you know, you're kind of like... Um, your mind is being made lighter by something. Tell us more, Spirit. One more card for our pile number ones. Clear, concise, accurate messages for pile number ones. What do pile number ones need to hear right now? What do our pile number ones need to hear right now? Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number ones. What do pile number ones need to hear right now? Okay, so then we have the Nine of Cups. Beautiful pile number ones. Okay, I love this. Okay, I was at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck in reverse, I think this is reverse. Hold on. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck in reverse. So pile number ones. I feel like right now you could be a little anxious about either your physical, mental, or your financial health. Maybe you have been a little in denial about the the your, your circumstances, but I don't even feel like it's denial. I feel like you have been turning your awareness more so on the solution than the problem itself, right? You've been working to fix your mindset around something, whether it be your physical, mental, or emotional health. And you have been doing that in a way in which you are not allowing yourself to become heavy with thoughts of thinking about that. And I know that sounds I know that sounds interesting because we have the nine of swords here, but I feel like the nine of swords could also represent the problems of the world and us taking on the world's problems, right? So with the seven of pentacles, this could be in relation to something that you've been working on, something that you've been investing in, okay? This could be your health. This could be your financial health. This could be your mental health, right? Maybe it helps you to kind of I know this might sound odd, but maybe disassociate at times from certain things in your life because it just, I want to say not disassociate, compartmentalize certain things in your life. Okay. That's, that's the wrong word, <laughs> but I feel like with the seven of pentacles here, you are contemplating whether you should throw in the towel with something you've been working on or just keep going right to see <clears throat> If you can make something that you've been wanting to make for quite some time happen, okay? Now, with the Knight of Cups, 
this could be you pile number ones you could be pisces cancer scorpio you could be like maybe um maybe in your mid 20s to mid 30s okay or this could be someone in your environment with the knight of cups here that would suggest um maybe being decisive right this could also be someone coming in offering you something okay with the knight of cups here well, yeah but this might not be a long-term offer here with the ten of pentacles in reverse the knight of cups is very synonymous with loving love loving the idea of love but not really having the capacity to fully commit to the things that they say they want right because they're they're just very romantic they're very passionate you know um, this could be in regards to your passions, right? Maybe you've been kind of wondering like, hmm, I'm doing the things that I want right now, right? In life, I'm doing the things that I'm passionate about in life, but you know, is it serving my physical needs, right? My physical health, is it going to keep me grounded on this earth plane because we need money to maneuver through life we need money to exist now maybe you are asking this queen of spades some advice right maybe you, someone's confiding in you pile number ones and you're giving them advice right like practical advice, but there, there's definitely something here on your mind. Now, I feel like maybe after this conversation or maybe after this offer, someone could be offering you something here with this Knight of Cups too, right? It's going to cleanse your mind. You're going to feel very like, you're going to feel more like lighthearted, right? Lighthearted, uh, maybe not as like anxiety ridden over whatever it is that you have been finding yourself contemplating or thinking about lately right and with the nine of cups here this could be exactly what you've been wanting exactly what you have been asking for the remedy uh the solution to this to this problem the answer to this prayer okay whatever it is that is being said to you or the advice that's being given or whatever it is that you're hearing it's going to offer you some clarity. It's going to give you a feeling of alleviation and satisfaction, almost like you're not alone in this, right? But let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify some of these cards. Who is this? Who or what is this Knight of Cups spirit? Clarify this Knight of Cups. Look, we have the Six of Cups in reverse. Very interesting. Who or what is this Knight of Cups? We have the Queen of Wands, okay? Who or what is this Knight of Cups for our pile number ones? Clarify this Knight of Cups for our pile number ones. Very interesting. And then we have the King of Swords, we have the Six of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Swords. Maybe this is a partner. Maybe this is actually someone coming in from the past, right? That admires you or thinks you're very attractive, but maybe has certain reservations because we have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Maybe this person can be too shy to come up to you this could be a new person or maybe this person with the king of swords in reverse maybe you you stop talking to this person or cut communications cut communications communication with this person pile number ones very interesting very interesting six of cups in reverse queen of wands and the king of swords in reverse You might not know how to approach this person or this per person doesn't have the words to convey to you in regards to something that they want to tell you. It could be about their health. Hmm. With the six of cups in reverse, I'm thinking like, 
maybe you haven't spoke to this person in quite some time. But maybe this person still admires you from afar or sees how well you're doing. Is this a spirit guide? Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck, the devil in reverse, and then the chariot. This could be a Cancer. This could be a, a, a Cancerian person wanting to reach back out and you just don't know it. Um, this person could be talking about a Cancerian person too in regards to someone's health or something like that. Maybe one of their spouses, their spouse's health, and they just want to confide in you because they feel like you're a reliable person to talk to. Let's see. That's very interesting. Pile number Pile number ones. Let's see. What is this nine of cups spirit? Clarify this nine of cups for our pile number ones. Why is this nine of cups here to end pile number ones reading? We have the two of wands. In reverse, clarify this nine of cups for our pile number oh, ones. We have the nine of cups. Okay, clarify the nine of cups spirit. Why is this nine of cups here for our pile number ones? And we have the nine of wands. Someone could be feeling a little confused about their path, which path they're on, if they're on the right path, if they're making the right decision. We have the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Someone could be asking for like higher guidance, yeah, higher wisdom or looking for spiritual knowledge right now, wanting to seek spiritual refuge within someone, almost like consulting someone as a guru because they genuinely do like... Maybe this is in regards of the satisfaction that they're feeling in their lives. We have nine, nine. Okay. Something about boundaries, something about keeping going, keep going, right? You might feel weary. You might need to rest, but rest don't stop whatever you're doing because you're almost to your nine of cups. You're almost to that wish fulfillment. And then with the two of wands in reverse, it's just, you might be feeling that weariness in your soul right now because you are confused on whether or not you're on the right path but you but you are pile number pile number ones you are on the right path and with the hierophant i have a feeling this is like maybe this is like an ascension symptom or like this could be some type of initiation type of energy here very interesting mm. Okay, so let's conclude your reading with some goddess guidance card, uh, cards. I think this is perfect way <laughs> to conclude your reading. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number ones to wrap up their reading. Um, advice, guidance, and wisdom for our pile number ones to wrap up their reading spirit. Advice, guidance, and wisdom for pile number ones to wrap up their reading. Very interesting. This could be about your home life, Vesta home. Your household situation is improving, beautiful, either through a move or a healthy change in occupancy. And then we have health. So some of you all could be worried about moving. Maybe that's what I was seeing with that chariot card. You could be very passionate about this move that you're facing, but you kind of like, maybe you're in a little denial about what's happening here or like not denial, but I really don't feel like the literal term denial. It's almost like, you know, being a little Delulu, which is fine <laughs> it, it within reason, right? Pile number one's within reason, okay? But yeah, your household situation is improving, is improving, okay? Or a either through a move or a healthy change in its occupancy. So yeah, this could be about moving, right? We have Guinevere with true love. Very interesting. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. Very interesting. And then we have the two of hearts here, which talks about romance, okay? So maybe although certain things might be happening in, in your life, you're experiencing a lot of beauty in other areas, and it could be in romance, right? We have white Tara with sensitivity. You are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environment, situations, and chemicals. Interesting, okay? So... Maybe that's where your health ties into play. And these are both green and humor is green. So 
you know, laughing, being joyous, um, not dwelling and being anxiety ridden could really help your health right now. And then we have Ma Maeve with cycles and rhythm. Honor the cycles of your body, energy, levels, and emotions, okay? So you could, I know we just entered fall, so you could be, um, maybe you have, you know, been feeling some seasonal mood changes or some seasonal changes where your body is, you know, kind of at play here where you might be getting health advice, maybe with herbs or something like that in regards to your health. Okay. Maybe heart health as well. This has a lot. This has something to do with romance though. Romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. Maybe you feel very loved right now, feel very cherished and feel very blessed. And your, your sensitivity could be increasing as well. Pile number ones. Let me, I want to read Guinevere really quick. Okay, 56. It says your soulmate relationship has arrived or is soon arriving. There is renewed passion in an existing relationship. You're a very romantic person. Your romantic needs aren't being met and you must take steps to alleviate this. Very interesting. So some of you all, maybe some of you all might be talking to someone in regards to the health of like their relationship or something like that. And maybe their romantic needs aren't being met or vice versa. You could have met your soulmate too. Your soulmate could be coming in with the Knight of Cups though. I don't know. Maybe because is the Knight of Cups soulmate energy is definitely someone asking you out. Okay. Very interesting, but something about your sensitivity and your health and what makes you feel good who makes you feel good who makes you feel better right cycles and rhythm honor the cycles of your body energy levels and emotions Seventy-seven. yeah it says make time to rest initiate steps to alleviate depression or lethargy take better care of your body seek support for dealing with emotional crisis allow yourself to grieve or take time off know that this lull won't last forever a doorway of opportunity has opened up and you need to walk through it now very interesting huh so yeah maybe there's something with your body that you just need to take care of your health more this i'm getting mental health and i'm not getting it in the way of like oh this is severe mental health crisis no i'm getting it like maybe it's the things that you're very sensitive about okay and you are taking some time off and or away from something and it's really going to help and turn something around right so yeah pile number ones that's all the times that i have for you my lovely dreamy dreamers i love you so much I really hope you received this message or, you know, got anything from this message. If you did, please give this reading a big thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. If you all are interested in a gorgeous companion to these readings or any other YouTube readings, um, here it is. It's a 117 page journal with an introduction book in the beginning describing everything tarot and oracle. Okay, so um, the link to this will also be in the description box down below. Also, pile number ones, give a shout out to Sandrine and the artist. Um, I was so happy to collaborate with her. She's actually one of our dreamy dreamers. Um, and yeah, so um, her Instagram will be in the description box down below as well. I love you so much. And until next time, I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number twos. Welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this 11th house dice, okay? Alongside the seven of clubs with falling, fallen teeth or falling teeth. So what it is I'm getting, pile number 
twos with the 11th house dice and then the seven of clubs with which if you can or would equate to the seven of wands. I feel like there could be some defensiveness or some feelings of defending yourself, maybe from a friend, maybe from uh, a particular person in a, in one of your social groups or social dynamics. Right. But I am going to read what it says in this um, conjure cards book about the seven of clubs. So it says, fallen teeth. There's an old saying, in the hills, some don't smile, they just show teeth. This means that there will be trouble caused by the opposite sex. To dream of falling, to dream of teeth falling out is a sign that you will lose money. Reversed, the seven of clubs brings a lighter tone that shows your doubts and worries will be overcome after some time and may predict a journey over water. Now, I'm not quite sure which um, side this this came in, but you all can uh, take what resonates from that description and leave the rest. Okay, pile number two. So again, with the 11th house and this fallen teeth with the seven of clubs, I feel like there could have been um, some type of social dynamic where there was some type of challenge to overcome or maybe some miscommunication here or maybe some um, interesting feelings met within a social group. Okay. But let's put this card here and get into your messages. Pile number two is clear, concise, accurate messages <clears throat> for pile number two, Spirit. What do you want pile number twos to hear right now? What does Spirit want pile number twos to hear right now? Clear, concise, accurate messages. What does Spirit want our pile number twos to hear right now? Thank you. Okay, you guys see that loud and clear. We have surrender. I can release my need to control. So maybe when it comes to a friend group or um, a group dynamic, there was some type of need to feel control of a situation and maybe you just surrendered it. Or maybe a, the other person, maybe your friend, maybe a partner, maybe someone within your social dynamic just surrendered to what was going on okay but let's see tell us more spirit what does pile number twos we have doubt i released the need to know all the answers and that's interesting because in this description of the seven of clubs it said in reverse all of your doubts or worries were going to be alleviated in some time so i feel like maybe you surrendered to needing to know every single thing about something that happened, about a group situation, about a friendship, a connection, something like that, okay? Maybe you had a dream about this or a dream where your teeth fell out and maybe it pertained to a friend and you were just very doubtful or very like inquisitive about what does this dream mean? What does this dream mean? And, you know, maybe it was stirring you to the point where you felt like you just had to surrender it in order to find peace, right? Tell us more, Spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number twos what do you want them to hear right now what does pile number twos need to hear right now spirit we have grief i understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it so maybe here with surrender doubt and grief maybe you experience some a loss of something right Interesting friendship. What did I say? And then the 11th house, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Okay. So maybe this had something to do with the connection of friendship, um, even like a romantic connection, you know, because a lot of the times our partners are our friends, right? That That's how it should be at least, right? Or that's how, you know, we build upon a solid foundation when it comes to any relationship is having some type of friendly rapport with the people we choose to con consistently have in our lives right so i understand that a friend is in my life for a reason maybe um you're surrendering to doubt in regards to a friendship maybe you've been wondering or contemplating okay why is this person in my life is this person you know <clears throat> in my life for a reason or you know should i be worried about this person i don't think you have anything to worry about when it comes to um, a, a particular friend. Okay. Now I feel like you either have released doubt about this, or you will be soon releasing doubt about this friendship or this, uh, social connection right now with grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Maybe there was a spat here, right? Maybe there was, um, 
maybe there was a what's it called there was a falling out or like a difficult difficult conversation you needed to have with a friend or uh, a person in your social group and you maybe thought about not being friends with this person anymore <clears throat> or not associating with this person anymore but maybe you 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 didn't take it that far right pile number twos or maybe spirit wants you to hear you know Maybe within you even doubting the connection within this friendship or social dynamic, it gave you insight into, okay, well, how would my life be without them, right? And maybe that gave you a little clarity about like the potential of losing this person and or vice versa, right? Maybe this is a person who almost lost you and they're like, Whew, you know, really happy that that won't happen or that that didn't happen. But let's get into your tarot tell us more spirit clear concise accurate messages for our pile number twos what do you want pile number twos what does pile number twos need to hear right now interesting so we have i believe this is the queen of pentacles it flopped right out okay so you could be dealing with a um a, a virgo capricorn or Taurus energy, you could definitely pile number twos be dealing with an earth sign here, okay? But let's see. Tell us more spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number twos, okay? What does pile number twos need to hear right now? Okay, so now we have the nine of wands. What does pile number twos need to hear right now, spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number twos. What do pile number twos need to hear right now? Okay, so I'm going to take all these cards, actually. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to put this right here. And let's see, we have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the King of Pentacles, very interesting. So we have a, this seems like a, um, what is it? Oh my gosh, why can't I think of the word? We have the Page of Pentacles. Hold on, pile number two. So let me get this situated here. We have the Ace of Wands. And then we have the two of swords. So there was a decision about a divine counterpart here, a divine counterpart connection pile number um, twos that I feel like you have either made or felt like you had to make or felt like you have had to make. OK, and this could have something to do with boundaries, right, with the nine of wands here or feeling very wounded over something. OK, and then we have the eight of pentacles here. This could be a work relationship a work dynamic as well but if it is not a uh, pile number twos this could have a lot to do with work or finances because we have the page of pentacles here there's a lot of material things coming to uh materialization here with the ace of wands okay so i feel like this could have especially with the ten of cups in reverse maybe there was something about a connection that didn't leave um it, it wasn't that left you confused, right? Maybe someone did not use their emotional, I don't want to say emotional intelligence because I felt like that would represent the king of cups here, right? But I'm feeling like something stirred up and, and look at how these, how, how these cups are just like stirring, right? In this depiction as well. Something stirred up some really, really deep emotions within someone or something, right? With the 10 of cups being in reverse, and I feel like there was a decision that had to be made here in regards to a divine counterpart connection, right? We have the king, we have the king and the queen of pentacles here. And then the eight of pentacles, which talks about working through something, which talks about doing the hard work, doing the daily task that it takes, right? And here's the thing. Also, what I'm getting pile number twos is that when it comes to your 
you networking, right? When it comes to your social dynamics or your friendships, it's important to work through them, right? And maybe not be as defensive about certain things, right? Because of old wounds, passed down traumas, or, you know, just feeling some type of lack, feeling the lack of energy, feeling a lack of like, just something here, uh, feeling the lack of like, um, perseverance, right? Because a nine of wands would also signify perseverance to persevere through whatever challenges that you might feel like you're facing or you might be facing at the time. Because with this stick, stick to itness, um, comes a light at the end of the tunnel. Now we also have the page of pentacles. This could talk about starting over from scratch as well. We have the page of pentacles and then we have the ace of wands, maybe feeling very, um, aligned with like, um, going back to school, right? With the page of pentacles, uh, you know, something about finances here, feeling very inspired and drawn into, um, maybe working on your finances or learning more about finances or going back to school or getting something extra, uh, getting an extra stream of income, being an apprentice, learning something completely from scratch, right? And I have a feeling this was a, a quick decision because we only have one swords card here, right? So this could have been made very quick and swift, swiftly, right? But let's get some clarifiers for this deck, pile, for this reading, pile number twos. Hmm. What is this? What is this two of swords here for pile number two? Spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages. The Ace of Pentacles, yeah. Starting over from scratch, having a new opportunity um, when it comes to, you know, walking through a portal and being given something, right? Being decisive, learning to use logic and the heart when it comes to a new beginning with something. <clears throat> Tell us more, spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number twos. Clarify this two of swords here for pile number twos. Why is this two of swords here for our pile number twos? Clear, concise, accurate messages. What, why is this two of swords here for our pile number twos? Okay, and we have the hermit. Ace of pentacles and the hermit card. Okay, some of you all might have decided to meditate on something in regards to a new beginning or in regards to an opportunity that is being handed to you or that has been handed to you. OK, a new start, a new material start when it comes to someone or something, someone or some said circumstance. Right. And I feel like you're really in this introspective space right now to gain the clarity in which you need to start fresh or, you know, start something new. And we have the queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like a lot of this has to do with finances. A lot of this has to do maybe even with your health. A lot of this has to do with um, maybe even your financial health and your financial well-being as well. Being able to take care of yourself and provide for yourself as well as the people around you, pile number twos okay so let's clarify this nine of wands clarify this nine of wands for our pile number two spirit we have the two of pentacles okay so the nine of wands could signify creating boundaries financial boundaries right or material boundaries if that applies to you pile number <clears throat> pile number twos because some type of material not having material boundaries, right? Some type of juggling, maybe two streams of income, maybe has um, had something to do with or the lack thereof your happiness, right? Has come in between is what I'm trying to say. Your happiness, your overall fulfillment, right? Emotional fulfillment. Clarify this nine of wands for our two, for our pile number two spirit. Clarify. And then we have the three of pentacles. Yeah, this talks about rebuilding something. Two of pentacles and a three of pentacles. This talks about kind of like weighing the pros and the cons or having a good time building something with others, even delegating, knowing that you need cooperation and teamwork to build, although it could hurt sometimes to ask for that help or to ask for said boundaries or to, you know, kind of know where to draw a clear line in the sand when it comes to to delegating or asking for something. But that's this is very interesting. Two and a three of pentacles. And then we have 
I don't know if this was in reverse or not, but then we have the strength card here, pile number two. So I feel like, again, the nine of wands is like the precursor to the strength card, to the major arcana strength. So I feel like spirit is saying, hey, don't give up. You're almost there. Keep building. Keep working on what it is that you're working uh, on because it isn't in vain, right? And this could even be a relationship in regards to a social dynamic, a friendship, or a partnership, right? A romantic partnership. And maybe you all are, are friends, you know? Okay, so let's see here. But there is some type of cooperation that is being had here. Okay. Clarify this page of pentacles for our pile number... Twos. Clarify this page of pentacles. Well, wow. and then we have the three of wands here. <clears throat> so you could be looking for like a new beginning when it comes to work or starting something fresh, maybe starting for starting um, a financial journey over, right? Page of cups. I feel like this is an intuitive hunch too. So follow it, pile number twos. If this is your intuition telling you to take this route, to start something new, to begin, uh, something new, whether that be, uh, school, right? Whether that be going back to school, whether that be, uh, doing an apprenticeship, whether that be, you know, doing something, take it, right? Because I feel like this has a lot, this is going to expand you. This is going to expand your horizon. This is going to expand your growth and your potential when it comes to something. Some of you all could be um, doing something new when it comes to doing something overseas, right? So do that because it's going to expand you and it's going to maybe even expand your creativity to the point where, you know, you are being able to um, really find this new opportunity um, in the material. So let's see, one more card. <clears throat> Clarify this page of pentacles for our pile number two, Spirit. Clarify this page of pentacles for our pile number two. We have the Empress in reverse. So what I'm getting here with the Empress in reverse here and the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck is maybe now is not the time to just kind of rest on your laurels and to just take it easy. Maybe it is now right now is the time to expand, to plant seeds, right? Because <clears throat> the page of pentacles is um, a page that plants seeds. It could also be good news in regards to finances, maybe like a, you hear something good or an opportunity that comes to you to expand your consciousness, to expand your awareness, to expand your creativity, to expand your business as well. But now is not the time to just kind of like be, be totally in receiving mode, right? Now is the time to put in the hard work and effort and dedication in regards to the things that you say that you want. That's what I'm getting. With the seven of pentacles, now is the time to invest in yourself and invest in maybe a new idea, a project or something that's going to lead you to growth, right? So, yeah. So, and then with the ace of wands, I feel like there is a lot of inspiration here that you have, maybe even a new spark of inspiration, okay? And it's interesting because this reminds me of like a newly sparked match, right? Like you're being able to see in the dark, right? Pile number twos. So maybe that's how you feel. Like, ah, finally, I can see something clearly now. And I'm going to use the inspiration that I have in order to make this happen. But let's see. Clarify this ace of wands for our pile number two spirit. Yeah, we have the nine of pentacles. This could be a brand new start. Um as providing for yourself, pile number twos, being financially independent, right? And I feel like you feel encouraged and you feel passionate about this new beginning, right? About this brand new inspiration of starting something fresh. Let's see. Clarify this ace of wands for our pile number twos. And then we have the ace of wands. Sheesh. Spirit is like, I said what I said. It's a it's a brand new opportunity of taking inspired action in order to allow yourself to become independent. Maybe you have been leaning too much on um, a spouse or a partnership in regards to finances and you have to set your own self free independently so you can have a clear head, so you can have you cannot be in choppy waters and so that your mind can feel alleviated when it comes to certain decisions, right? To a source that you have to make in your life. 
Yeah, because I feel like with the high priestess in reverse, your intuition has been muddled, right? Maybe you haven't known really what to do until recently. So let's get some goddess guidance cards in order to end your reading. Pile number two. Tell us more spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages. I feel like someone or something had put doubt in your mind and maybe you had experienced a slight loss when it came to, okay, well, what will I do financially? Pile number twos. And the thing is you, you had to experience that so you could get something through to you. It's like, maybe you had, okay, let's say this, let's say you're married, right? And you, your partner's like, babe, you don't have to work. I'll take care of the finances. You just be the homemaker, whatever. Right. So you're like, okay, cool. That agreed. <clears throat> and then you start doing that. You start homemaking, yada, yada, yada. And then maybe something happens, right? Something, um, not saying that it will, but something happens, right? Maybe you guys come to a disagreement and it's a very strong disagreement and you feel stuck. Like, well, if I, let's say for whatever reason, not to say that this would ever happen, but let's say for whatever reason, this person, you know, something happens in our relationship and God forbid we'd have to, you know, kind of like uh, separate or something like that. How would I be financially? Where would I go? What would I do if I'm just only leaning on this person? for my finances or for my stability. That's just an example. And it's an example as old as the dawn of civilization because that's what used to happen in the 50s, right? With, uh, with women before we start getting a lot of our rights. Um, we used to have to rely on men to you know, provide for us. We used to have to, right? Until we, the women's liberation movement and we could, you know, join the workforce and, you know, it's in certain countries, right? And I'm not saying this is in, in an overall view of the world, but I know in the U.S. that's what I think, that's what happened. That's a part of like U.S. history. So I feel like uh, a lot of you all are contemplating on how can you become financially independent of, you know, maybe a person, a social group, because I feel like this has more than one person involved. This isn't just this one person. It's a social dynamic. Like, let's say a company, right? Let's say here's an even better example. Let's say you work for a company and you're solely dependent on that company. You have no other streams of income, right? You have no other means, uh, no other um, skills or know how to make money outside of this company. And what if this company lays you off one day or you go bank, the company goes bankrupt and they literally, they can't have employees or maybe your, your, uh, department is on the chopping block. You're going to be like, what do I do? You know, I'm literally going to have to start from scratch. So you might as well do it now. Cause I feel like you are in this place of comfort, right? Especially with the Empress in reverse, um, you're still in this air of like, okay, I can, you know, I can kind of like, while I might lean on this right now, I can make measures to not have this be my end all say all, if that makes sense. Okay. So let's continue clear, concise, accurate messages. It's almost like not putting all your eggs in one basket pile number <clears throat> pile number twos okay so we have artemis with a guardian it says you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected so again this it's not like this would happen to you pile number um twos or this is happening to you right because we never know what you know what the future holds however i feel like you have had an opportunity to see hey what if it did and i should always take measures for my best interest you know because it's not just about me. What about my family? What if my family ever needed something? What if my husband, wife, spouse ever needed anything? And I'm just like, I have nothing. I have no skills. I have no new skills. I haven't diversified my skill set or anything like that. I'm just like stuck on either just this one job or just this one skill or just this one person, right? So let's see. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number twos to conclude their readings. Last messages for pile number twos to conclude their readings. And we have sh Shkimit with be strong. You are stronger than you think and your strength assures a happy outcome, exactly. So I feel like you're using your strength, your, your inner strength too, 
right? Your, your mental, your physical, your emotional, and your spiritual strength in order to ensure an outcome um, for yourself as well, pile number twos. And that's what spirit really wants you to hear. Like, look, you could do anything. You could have anything. You could do anything. You have to use that inner resilience. And even with Artemis, you have to use focus, right? You know, focus and de- determine determination and focus to to get to where you wanted it, to get to where it is you want to go. Pile number twos. Last card, spirit. Last message for our pile number twos. Clear, concise, accurate. Ooh, okay. And then we have Freya with bold. Unleash your adventurous side. Take risk and be daring. Yeah, take the risk on you. Maybe this has something to do with... Um, Maybe this has something to do with kind of like, maybe you've been wondering like, uh, should I apply for this job? Should I um, really put my all into what it is that I'm doing right now? Like, let's say some of you all have something on the side, like a side hustle or a side business while you're working, um, while you're working for a company or while you're working for a corporation or while you have another job. Maybe you've been thinking like, ooh, should I maybe take the time to put more into um, my side hustle because then it could, you know, pay off in some way, shape or form. The answer is yes. Be bold. Do something daring, like stretch yourself a little outside of your comfort zone right now. Pile number twos is really what I'm hearing for you. And then we have at the bottom of the deck, Ostara Fertility. It is a perfect time for you to start new projects access new ideas and give birth to new conditions. Very interesting. This is basically the premise of this whole reading pile number. Um, To don't rest on your laurels and don't put all your eggs in one basket. Look, and it's funny because she has all her eggs in one basket here, but you know what I mean? You know, these are Easter eggs. So, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket though, is what I'm getting. But you see how she's spreading seeds other places. So maybe you can put all your eggs in one basket if you're planting the seeds and you're collecting the basket, you know. But I hear you because if you put all your eggs in one basket and they're not boiled, if they drop, then, you know, you've lost most of them. So, yeah, I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this for you, pile number twos. That is all the time that I have for you, my dreamy dreamers. I love you so much. If you like this reading, if it resonated, please hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. If you all are interested in a gorgeous, one-of-a-kind tarot journal uh, to use as a companion for these readings or any other readings here on YouTube, The link to this will be in the description box down below. It is a beautiful, stunning tarot journal with 117 pages where you can archive your tarot journey as well as increase your intuition through writing your spreads or these readings down in this journal, okay? Also, go follow, go subscribe to the beautiful Sandrine Ann who helped me bring this vision to life, okay? Her Instagram and her YouTube channel will be in the description box down below. This will make a beautiful gift for anyone during the holiday season. So again, if you're interested, all the information for this will be in the description box down below. I love you all so much, my dreamy dreamers. I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number threes, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose the second seventh house dice, which is light blue. And you all chose the two of spades with the broken glass. Now you all have an additional card that came out. So let's reveal that now. And we have the seven of hearts with, I don't know what this is. It's like a, not a leash, leech, but it's like, some type of, oh, I it's like I have the name for it, but it won't come out. Not a larch. It's kind of like a caterpillar-esque larve. I think it might be a larve. I don't know. I don't know. But let's see here. So with the two of spades, as well as the two of hearts, there could have been like a disagreement here with the broken glass. I'm getting that Rihanna song. It's like an old Rihanna song. It's like breaking dishes. That's what I'm getting here. I don't know. (laughs) And that song was heinous. That song was not a good song. Like it did not age well as the kids say, right? Um, 
but what I'm getting there could have been like a disagreement, not anyone, not any type of disagreement that would be, how can I put it? That, that would be, um, dangerous or anything, but I'm getting with this broken, broken beer bottle or broken bottle. Um, some like almost like spilled milk happened, right? Like something shattered. Okay. This could have been in the matters of love or like maybe you don't feel like you have as many options as you thought. Right. Well, let's see, let's read a little bit from the conjure card guide book and just a, a warning pile number threes. This guide book is a little wild, but you know, take what resonates, leave the rest. That's what I do. So it says two of spades, broken bottle. Shown with a broken bottle, this card denotes fighting, trouble, angry words. Yeah, this is what I was getting. And a separation. Um, it identifies disputes between two subjects or within a particular environment. If it lies between two queens or kings, it shows a fight or separation between people. If it is surrounded by a particular suit, it shows a fight or argument in that environment. So yeah, love spat. Lovers quarrel is what I'm getting here, right? For hearts, it would be in the home or with family. So this could have been with a, a family member, right? Or a loved one. It says um, clubs, it would be friends or social platform platforms for diamonds it would be in business or the workplace interesting okay so let's get into hearts so we have the seven of hearts here so it says um rattlesnake rattle okay so this is the end of a rattlesnake rattle i guess it says the rattlesnake has been used in many ways throughout the south in folk magic and conjuration but dream wise the meanings are generally consistent across the area they are a sign of envy, jealousy, and an enemy. If the snake bites you in a dream, the enemy conquers you or you've been poisoned by conjure. If this, if you kill the snake, you conquer the enemy. Okay, interesting. Okay, it says, if shown with the five or the nine of spades, whether right or in reverse, it shows... Da okay, so no, this isn't what that is. This card shows jealousy, hate, and a friend who may be an enemy if... Okay, look, I don't know if this is what this is but it could be it could have been an argument or a disagreement within your family dynamic because of insecurity jealousy envy something like that right maybe someone feels that you have so many options available to you and they don't pile number threes and with the seventh house here this could be ro romantic relationships as well so maybe there has been a disagreement or an argument because maybe you or your spouse or your intimate partner, right, could have um, been upset, envious, jealous of something, maybe of someone, someone's options or someone's, you know, love interest, right? Okay, so let's maybe even something that has been said, okay? Something that has been said, but let's get into the knit grit pile number threes, okay? Clear, concise, accurate messages for pile number threes. What does spirit need pile number threes to hear right now? What does spirit need our pile number threes to hear right now, spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages. What does pile number, what does spirit need pile number threes to hear right now? What does spirit, okay, that one flew out very majestically. Peace, okay, I love this. Peace, I am I am a being of love and I release all negative energy, okay? So spirit wants you to release all negative energy, if not for anyone else's sake, for your own. That's what I'm getting, right? So, okay, thank you. We have acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change, okay? So I feel like you could have came to acceptance or like maybe this is water under the bridge now with someone. Let's see, though. Tell us more, Spirit. What does Spirit need pile number threes to hear right now? What does Spirit need our pile number threes to hear right now? We have love. I love this. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Okay. What I'm getting, pile number threes, you know what's interesting? Look at this. Look at this. Happiness. I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. Look, you know what I'm getting? For most of you on this spiritual path, and I know most of you are because, hello, you're tuning into a spiritually based tarot reading, right? So what I'm getting for you is that someone, you chose peace. 
You accepted what happened in a situation, maybe a lover's quarrel, maybe fight, an argument that happened. You accepted what you couldn't change and you did it because out of love, out of this universal principle of love. And what I'm getting for you, pile number threes, is you are actually using the self-development, the self-help, the spiritual um, understandings that you have garnered uh, for however long you have been learning them. You are putting these practices into use, right? You're, some people, they might just, they might know spiritual practice. They might even understand it, but do they use it, right? So I feel like maybe you had taken some time to accept what you couldn't change and to work through it, right? Out of love and more so out of love for yourself, and for your own happiness. That's what I'm getting. I love this. And you knew like, hey, if I am feeling unhappy, I know I'm on the wrong path. How, what can I do in my soul it, that's in my capacity to make sure that I am on a good wavelength or I am in a good energetic frequency or something of that nature? You all are using, you know, your spiritual teachings. You're, you're using them, right? when when the when it's the most prevalent time to use them right not because sometimes we'll just oh yeah use it when we're happy or when things are going good in our lives but at times when things aren't that's when we need to use them the most right okay so let's get more information from your tarot clear concise accurate messages spirit what do you need pile number threes to hear right now what do you need for our pile number threes to hear right now, spirit? Okay, so we have the three of cups. Very interesting. This could have been a third. I do not like using this. This could have been a third party situation or this could have had something to do with a friendship group, right? Or some type of celebration energy. Oh, and this is in reverse too. So maybe it was like some type of false understanding of like a third party or... um. Yeah, like a third party situation or about someone else. I won't even say third party. Ugh, sorry, I hate that term, but maybe this was an argument about someone else. Okay, let's see. Clear, concise, accurate messages. For our pile number threes, what do pile number threes need to hear right now, Spirit? What do we need pile number threes to hear right now? Okay, so we have the tower in reverse, so I'm going to keep it. I feel like... Some of you all, because you have chose peace, because you have chosen a grounded approach, I feel like a, uh, about a way to go, to go about something, you have spared yourself a lot of heartbreak and difficulty, right? But let's see, clear, concise, accurate, accurate messages. What does spirit want pile, need pile number three to know right now? What does spirit need pile number three? I feel like someone or you or your partner or someone has avoided a humongous tower moment because you you use your practices, pile number threes. What do you need pile number threes to hear right now, spirit? What do you need pile number threes to hear right now? Clear, concise, accurate messages. Look at this. We have ju justice. Okay. So yeah, using your heart and mind, right? Your heart is as light as a feather. You didn't want just chaos is what I'm getting. Whatever this argument was about, whoever this argument was about, pile number threes, you did not want chaos in your heart. You wanted your heart to feel light and airy. And you were like, uh-uh, I'm not doing, I'm not, mm -mm. I'm not doing this. Or your partner was like, no way. How can we accept what happened, um, come to a peaceful contingency or like understanding and move on, you know? And then we have the chariot energy. This could have been in relation to a cancer person. This could have been in relation to, um, what else? Something about moving forward, you choosing to move forward in this situation. But let's see, tell us more spirit. What does our pile number three need to hear right now? What do our pile number threes need to hear right now? Two more cards. Thank you. Yeah, we have the two of pentacles. Hmm. Someone could have been weighing the pros and the cons. Maybe you could have been weighing the pros and the cons of a decision. Or you could have felt juggled by someone or something. But I feel like you got your way. 
Oh, I see. I, 11 11 on the timestamp. I just seen that. That's so interesting. Let's get one more card. Let's get one more card for our pile number threes. What do you need our pile number threes to hear right now? What do you need our pile number threes to hear right now? Spirit, what do you need our pile number Oof, that came out quick. Okay. So we have the two of wands. Okay, I love this. Beautiful. You're on the right path, pile number. Um, I feel like spirit is really giving you a congratulations and a good job on how you handled something. Maybe at first it wasn't the best, but we have the seven of wands here. You defended yourself. You defended yourself and you did so properly, right? Because um, I, I feel like with this reading, whatever that had went on, if this was about a circumstance, um, a person, if this was about a celebration or something like that, pile number threes, you you handled the situation to the best of your abilities, given the context and given what you knew to do with the information that you had. You did not let your partner or anyone bulldoze you into, um, you know, bulldoze over your feelings or your emotion. I feel like you handled it very very maturely and in a very balanced way, right? Because we have the justice card in the middle of the reading. Now, this could even have something to do with this solar eclipse in Libra. Now, I say that because I'm literally filming this on the 12th of October and the solar eclipse in Libra is on the 14th, okay? So this could have had this could have been a make or break moment with this tower card, right? This could have been a make or break moment. And we have two major arcanas. We have the Tower in Reverse and Justice. And I feel like you did not just make a decision just solely based off of emotions with this Three of Cups here. Because I feel like you could have, you know, you could have easily. With the Two of Pentacles here in the Aspirations position, I'll just say, let's say this is the Aspirations position. You made a very balanced, a balanced um, decision or outcome based off of what you needed. I feel like this was a lot so about you. It, it's not even about your partner. If this is a, a lover's quarrel, quarrel, this is about you, pile number threes, and what you need right now in your life. Okay. And then we have the two of wands. This is actually a very balanced reading because we have wands. We have... Um, Pentacles, we have um, cups, we have the tower too, and then we have justice. But justice in the Rider Waite tarot depiction of justice <clears throat> has the the basically the judge holding a sword. So they're using their mind to make this balanced decision, right? To bring equilibrium back to a situation. They're using their mind and their heart. And that's what I think that the uh, feather and the heart represents as well in this um, justice card depiction, right? You're using a balanced di disposition to bring things back into harmony. And because you did this, you, you're you on the right path. Not to say that you will ever not be, you'll never not be on the right path because no matter what path we take, we're always going to eventually be led to our, you know, our overall outcome. But I feel like you made a proper decision for yourself. You did not go too far to where you couldn't come back from, if that makes sense. Or even if this decision was made by a partner or by um, by someone else in the relationship, they did not come back. They did not make the worst decision that they couldn't come back from, okay? So let's see. Let's clarify. Let's clarify this Three of Cups. Why is this Three of Cups here in reverse for our pile number threes? Why is this Three of Cups here for... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Seven of Swords just came right out. Boom. And then with the Two of Swords. Okay. Now, here are these swords here. Yeah. Someone could have... You could have felt or been thinking. Okay. Because we have two Swords cards here. So there's a lot of thoughts going on in these two. Could have been thinking that someone was lying, cheating, or stealing from you or on you, okay? Or about you, right? Being deceptive about something, right? And with the Two of Swords, I feel like you had to maybe go in the silence. You had to be very still, pile number threes, in regards to what, what you're going to do about this and how you're going to handle this situation. 
to protect your own self. This is what I'm saying. Cause I was getting, no, this is about you. This isn't even about the other person. Right. So, um, again, you made a clear decision based off of, um, logic on what to do in regards to something. But let's see here. Tell us more spirit. Clarify. Hold on. I'm going to put these back in. Clarify this power in reverse for a pile number. Yeah. Judgment card. Maybe you gave someone a second chance or spirit kind of intervened with a second chance or a revival, right? Yeah. Pile number um, threes. Yeah. Maybe you really thought someone was lying or being deceptive to you about someone or something and you were about to walk away. I feel like you really had to make a decision here that protected your own interests as well. Tell us more about this tower in reverse for our pile number threes. We have the strength card in reverse. Yeah. Spirit really wanted you to really use inner resilience and fortitude about this decision, right? But there was a second chance given here. Okay, let's see. Clarify this two of pentacles for our pile number three, Spirit. Clarify this two of pentacles for our pile number threes. Clarify this two of pentacles for our pile number threes. Yeah, we have the Hierophant. This is what I'm saying. You made the best decision for yourself. You did pile number threes, but I feel like you also learned some things too, right? You learn, you really used your best judgment and your higher judgment. You used your higher mind in regards to how you were going to handle a situation, right? You really did weigh the pros and the cons. And I think it's interesting because there's two keys crossed at the uh, bottom of the higher fence feet. And then we have these two of pentacles here clarify this um you really <laughs> you really use a higher minded judgment about this and i think that's why spirit is congratulating you because yeah tell us okay we look we have the queen of pentacles in reverse this could be something <clears throat> about finances so some of you all could have been attracted to pile number ones as well okay but let's see clarify this two of wands for our pile number threes. Clarify this two of wands for our pile number threes. Look, we have the five of pentacles in reverse. Clarify this two of wands for our pile number threes. Clarify this two of wands for our pile number threes. We have the four of cups in reverse. Clarify the two of wands for our pile number threes. And then we have the knight of pentacles. You did not rush <clears throat> or jump the gun here uh, when making a decision. Okay, we also still have the strength card in reverse. But I feel like spirit was really urging you to use your inner strength. And this was something bigger than the situation at hand. I felt like pile number threes. I feel like whatever decision that you made was for your own peace and happiness in love, like look at all these beautiful cards, acceptance, peace, love, happiness, like you made the proper decision. And I feel like you made the proper decision in order to, does this make sense? Kind of buy you time almost to be in a more clear state of mind in order to make a clear decision, not just one based off of emotion, but based off of um, the evidence, the the situation in and of itself, like almost like a having a bird's eye view, right? Objectivity when it comes to maybe a partner, a spouse, a relationship. Okay, with that seven seventh house energy here, right? How you're moving forward, right? When it comes to a partnership. With the five of pentacles, the four of cups in reverse, and the nine of pentacles clarifying the two of wands here, I have a feeling um, you did the right thing by maybe accepting someone's apology. This is what I'm getting with the five, with also the four of cups. You see these cups in alignment. Maybe you have a lot of suitors, right? And then it's funny because the three of cups here and then the three of cups here, and then you have this apology like, oh, I'm sorry, can you accept this? And you're like, no. No, maybe you made the right decision by not being completely just 
in resistance to accepting an offer or accepting an apology. And then with the five of pentacles in reverse, you made the right decision by maybe not breaking up with someone or not, you know, going out, going out on your own because it could have left you in a really bad situation, just energetically speaking. Right. And then with the Knight of pentacles here, I feel like now, look, you're in this state because look at this bear. They're very happy. They're happy with the decision that they made. And now in this state, you can do what's best for you. OK, you can you can you can kind of like absorb the information that's being brought to you with the level head, if that makes sense. OK, so let's move forward. Pile number threes. Let's see. Clear, concise, accurate advice, guidance, and wisdom to end our pile number three's reading spirit. Look at this. We have Ishtar with boundaries. Love yourself enough to say no to others' demands on your time and energy. Okay, so yes, yeah, some of you all might have been attracted to one other pile. If you are, go back to that pile. But I feel like you've established a lot of boundaries, not just with your mate or your partner, but yourself as well, which you will or you won't tolerate even from yourself, even when that means crossing the lines. Even when that means crossing the lines for yourself or on yourself, right? Almost like an integrity thing, right? And then look, we have Yemen Ya with golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Yeah. Tell us more, spirit. Clear, concise advice, guidance, and wisdom to end our pile number threes reading. Okay, yeah, we have Sedna with infinite supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. Yeah, I feel like you had to make, you have to create a certain boundary, you know, maybe that you did not have in a relationship, in a partnership. Okay, or within yourself, pile number threes. Tell us more, spirit. Okay, I'm going to take these. We have Cordelia with Go Outside. You have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. I feel like that is a direct message. Pile number threes. Maybe you all have let your mind wander or let your imagination stir to the point where maybe you could have almost made a decision that would have gone against your better good or your better judgment, but we have abundance, of prosperity. The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. So yeah. And look, this is interesting because I'm literally about to put this right beneath Sedna. And so, yeah. You, okay. This has a lot to do with your abundance as well, right? This could have a lot to do with your wellness or prosperity, and because you've made like a right decision for yourself or you really kind of like maybe this was a test and you like pass the test, you didn't go overboard. Maybe how you used to go pile number threes, you set clear boundaries for yourself. Spirit is rewarding you through abundance, right? Literally, they're pouring out all these coins in this cornucopia. This is a very beautiful card. A lot of abundance could be released to you at this time just due to your clear hearing about something or the way you handled a situation. I just keep getting the way you handled a situation or circumstance. What's at the bottom of the day? We have Rihanna with Sorceress. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Yeah. So, yeah, pile number threes. This is all that I'm getting. Um for you, my dears, I really hope this message resonated in some way, shape, or form. If it did, please hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. If you all are interested in a gorgeous, one-of-a-kind tarot journal, look no further. The link to this journal will be in the description box down below. There's 117 pages where you can um, record your tarot journey from start to finish. Uh, or each month. Okay. So the link to this journal will be in the description box down below. Also go say hey to our lovely Sandrine Ann who brought this vision into reality with me. Okay. Her Instagram and her YouTube channel will be in the description box down below. Excuse me. And yes, if you would like to send this to uh, a loved one or 
a friend or anyone who's interested in tarot or oracle cards as a gift go to the description box below and the link will be there okay i love you all so much pile number threes and i'll see you in your next reading bye